This piece is uh, called Every Day I Think of You. The work is meant to represent a person or people through an object. It was very interesting to me, the idea of how an object could stand uh, in for a person or uh, for an experience and remind you. Because I think that as human beings, we're all amnesiacs and we forget things that have happened to us. And so to be able to have something to trigger that memory, an object that's just a memento or something's just mundane that we find lying around the house that will make us reflect on uh, an experience. The people that it's based on are people throughout my life. Just people that uh, are associated with objects. The objects relate to uh, those memories and because of them being tied to memories, they uh, become uh, larger or smaller when I render them because the size will uh, determine or explain a little bit of the significance. I think of um, each of these objects as being a person and each of these objects as being a day as well. So the objects are 365 objects um, to determine a sense of time. So when I was deciding which objects to make, I was thinking about other people a lot and I was being very sentimental about these experiences. And then when I put the work up, I became uh, interested in this idea that the objects begin to point at me rather than outside of me and become about a portrait of myself. So through the objects, you can tell the story of who, my, who I am, about what age I am. So making these objects, I started the project by posting on Instagram uh, each of the objects as I made them. Um, that commitment to making them uh, became the power that pushed me forward when I was doing three o'clock in the morning making. But also what happened when with putting things online was that people started commenting on the things that related to them. And in that way, I'm connected to the people who have then had that experience. What's really interesting to me about these objects as well is each time I install them, I install them a little bit differently. And then when the people that are helping me unwrap them and we're, I'm putting them up, they'll have responses to them. So now my fish Price figurine relates to um, the curator here at uh, uh, Virginia Mocha. Um, my the Wonder Woman uh, lunchbox relates to um, Allison at uh, that curated this exhibition, um, and I think that's really exciting to me because now I have not only my story, I have their story of those objects. When I made this work, I didn't know exactly how I was going to install it. In this installation, because of um, all of these uh, conscious ways of uh, uh, attaching to the wall, um, I think that I started thinking about how uh, it could be um, an explosion. I have this very tall wall here. This is the highest I've installed the work. And, um, and so I wanted to start in a central spot and then have it explode out. Um, with that in mind, I centered it with the donut because I had this nice hole in the center, so it becomes this explosion out of the hole. But I like this idea of it becoming this growing and changing thing each time it's installed because it relates to the space and to where um, people are seeing it. So you might see this several times and have a different um, different experience because of the relationship between the objects as well because when you put something next to something else these stories start to build that didn't actually exist before and I think that's really interesting.